I'm Dr. Harold, and this is an introduction to the binary system of numbers. What we have here is a set of base 10 and a set of base 2. Binary numbers are base 2. When we talk about a bit of information, which relates to in our digital technology to CDs and DVDs, where there's information stored in little grooves, it's actually put into a binary system rather than analog, such as singing. Ah, that's an analog thing, but I can digitize it, and we'll learn about what is lost or what is the advantage. But first, let's look at the, the binary system uh, by comparing it with the base 10 system, which we use for normal decimal numbers. We have a base 10 and we raise it to either the zero power and anything to the zero power, of course, is one. Uh, 10 to the one is 10. 10 squared is 100, 1,000 for 10 to the cubed, and 10 to the fourth power, 10,000, and so, and so forth. This goes on and on. On the binary system, what we have is base pair, the base is two. We raise it to these same powers, zero, which anything to zero power is one. Two to the one is two. Two to the two is four. And two to the eight, uh, two to the third is eight, and so forth. And we can keep going. This doesn't have to stop. Now, I'm going to take you over to another, another board and show you how we're going to calculate some binary numbers that represent actually decimal numbers. Now I'm back at the other board to kind of represent something. What I've done, which is the easiest way, you don't have to do it this way, but the easiest way to comprehend how to transform regular numbers into the binary system is to first, above, make a, make a grid like, like so, and above, write your binary numbers raised to the individual powers. Below that, put what those powers of that base 2 represent. 2 to the third is 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 2 squared is 4, and so forth. Now, I've gone out to 2 to the seventh, and I'm probably not going to need that, but if I should have a big number, I may need this. Okay, and what we're going to do is these are additive. So, if I look at the binary system, starting from left to right, I would place either a 1 or a 0. A 0 representing that there is, we don't need this particular power of 2. Okay? So if I put a 0 into this box here, that means there, I don't have one of those. So I can't add it to whatever else is in there. So if we take and we put some digits in here, and let me put a 1 in here. And let's put a 1 in here. Let's put a 1 in here. Let's put a 0 here. Let's put a 0 here. And let's put a 1 here. Now, this is a set of binary numbers. I didn't put anything here. But what does that number represent? Well, all, if I put up my grid properly, all I need to do is write what each one of these represents. Yes, I have one. It's either a no or it's a yes with a one, and I have 32. Now, when I add that to 116, because I have one, I have an eight. I don't have any four. I don't have any zero, and I have a one. There's one. Two to the zero power is one. So I add these up. 32, 42, 48, 56, 57. This number represents 57. Okay, so the next step would be to simply put a number out to the side and see if we can come up with what it should be by deduction. So let me put a bigger number here. Let me put the number, let's just take a, a wild guess and say 72. Okay, I want to make the binary at 72. Now, I don't need a 1. What I should do, though, is go to a largest thing up here. Well, I can't take 128. 
can't take 128, but I can use a 64, okay? So I'm going to put one, one in here for a 64. Let me get rid of this right here real quick. So right now I've got 64. Now, if I added 32, I would have 96, and that number would be too big. So I don't need a 32. If I add 16 to this, once again, let's see, 64, 74, and that would be 80. That would be too large again. So I don't need that. 64 and 8, though, happens to be the magic number. I need an 8 which is equal to 72, but I don't need this one, I don't need this one, and I don't need this one. So the binary number is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. And that kind of is a, a beginning introduction to binary numbers. Thank you.